As an electrophysiologist, I'm an electrical specialist. Uh, to put it in simple terms, a lot of cardiologists are considered plumbers of the heart. Uh, they deal with blockages in the arteries around the heart and how well the heart pumps. Me, on the other hand, I am an uh, electrical specialist or an electrician of the heart. So if somebody has an abnormal rhythm, whether that be a fast uh, rhythm that is too fast or a rhythm that's too slow, uh, I am the one to take care of that. These fast rhythms are called tachyarrhythmias. Uh, they can be very simple issues and sometimes complex issues. Uh, it depends on whether or not uh, the abnormal rhythms are coming from the top chamber of the heart versus the bottom chamber of the heart and also if the abnormal rhythm is coming from the right side or left side. As far as anybody who uh, comes to see me for the first time, I do like to take the time to explain uh, what their disease process is uh, so that they better understand the disease. The more understanding and the more educated they feel about the disease, the more comfortable they are with me as well as with the procedures and uh, potential treatments in the future. The procedures that we do for our patients are considered minimally invasive. Uh, for our devices, we make a small uh, pocket that's underneath the collarbone uh, on the chest. And then for our ablations, uh, we use a catheter-based procedure uh, through access from the leg. A lot of times, especially for our more simple uh, abnormal rhythms, uh, patients have the choice of either taking medications for the rest of their life or having an ablation that could potentially cure them of the disease so that they wouldn't have to take the medications. If the evidence shows that medication is just as good as the ablation, uh, we allow patients uh, to choose between the two. However, if any case uh, the ablation seems to be a better option, then at that point in time we do uh, rec highly recommend the ablation. The long-term recovery for a device, uh, once those new leads are placed, we do recommend that patients do not uh, lift their arm above shoulder level and lift more than 10 pounds for at least one month. For our ablations, uh, the recovery period is uh, relatively short as well. For our ablations, we also admit patients to the day hospital. They do have to lay flat for about four hours. And that during that time, it allows the tissues uh, to close back uh, over uh, the access points that we've created. After that point, they can get up, walk around. As long as there's no bleeding uh, in their leg, then they should be able to go home that same day as well. Uh, for some of our more complex ablations uh, that do either require ablating in the lower chambers of the heart, known as the ventricles, or on the left side of the heart, we tend to keep those patients overnight.